Hey y'all, welcome to a Saturday Suds on Uncle Bubba's Bale Buckle Beer Reviews. And I'm out here in my backyard, man. It's just a beautiful spring afternoon. Uh, got just a slight breeze blowing every now and then. It's probably in the uh, mid 70s right now. It feels wonderful out here. It's a perfect day. I've got a couple of days off. Come out here in the backyard and drink a brew or two. And what I've got for you today is uh, uh, something by the Monday Night Brewing Company out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I think I've had a Monday Night Brew. It's been a long time and I can't remember what it was, but it, the name is familiar. But today's brew is a gift beer from my, my little brother. He gave me a, a mixed six pack for my birthday and this is one of them. It's a Death Raptor Killer IPA by Monday Night Brewing. And it's got wild raptor drawings all over the can there. This stuff is a 6.9% alcohol by volume and that's basically all the information I have on it. So we're going to try it today on Saturday Suds. Ah, oh, boy, that's a pretty gold color. Got a beautiful gold color and nice head. I'm getting some hop aroma off that head too. Mm. I thought it'd be a little bit darker than that. Uh, the one I had yesterday was a little bit darker than this one. And it had floaties all in it too. It was good. Beautiful gold brew. Let's see what this head's about here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Mmm. That has a very unique hop flavor. Um, it's not overpowering. It's not overly bitter. It's very delicious. It's almost got a it's almost got a creamy type texture to it. Big, thick head. Mmm. Man, that's good. That is good. All right, give this can a swish, see if we can get it any cloudier than what it is already. It's a little bit hazy, pretty hazy gold brew. Let's see what we come up with here. Well, maybe a little bit. It didn't really affect it that much. Um, you know, I'm sitting out here, kind of in the shade, and the top of my head's in the sun. And I'm, the glare, I can't hardly see the camera, so I'm trying to position this where y'all can see it, but I can't really tell, dadgummit. <laughs> anyway, um, so the head's delicious. It's a beautiful color. Um, looks like it's starting to do a little lacing. Um, so, this Death Raptor Killer IPA is for all American workers. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for working hard to provide for yourselves and your families, pay your own way, and support our economy. I love you, brothers and sisters. Cheers. Oh, man, that is just as smooth as it can be. It, uh, where yesterday's brew had a strong malt backbone, this one has, has a lot milder, milder maltiness to it. Um, and it's got the hop, the hop carries down well into the, into the flavor of the brew as well. Um, and, the, and the hops are different. They're not, they're not like a, a piney or a grapefruit type uh, hop flavor. It's just kind of different. Just very mild and very pleasant. Almost, uh, I guess you would, uh, might call it a floral type flavor maybe. Um, that sounds about right. It's just very good and very different from the from the typical hops. And it, and it don't say what kind of hops they use on it, so I don't really know. But anyway, if you get a chance to try this Death Raptor Killer IPA, um, 
give it a shot. It's it's good. Score score wise, I'd probably score this in a B plus. Um, it's good. It's got you know good characteristics. Uh, lacing, beautiful cut, be beautiful color. Uh, nice head. Um, the flavor is good. Uh, it it 6.9% ABV. It's just a little milder. Uh, and I don't want to say it's too mild because it, it does have some backbone in it, but it's just it's a lot milder than the the IPA I had yesterday. But good flavor. B plus, that's a fair score. Alright, y'all. That's been a Saturday Sud this week. I'll be back next week. I love and appreciate y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.